Hello, my name is Ian Dean and today I will be talking about the output options, the different output options for Mesh Baker. So let's take a look at what those are. I'm going to create a Mesh Baker, Mesh and Material Baker object in my scene. If I scroll down you can see there's an output field and the choices are Bake into Scene Object, Bake Mesh Assets in Place and Bake into Prefab. I'm going to talk about bake into scene object and bake into prefab first because those are very similar. So the first thing uh, we have to do is set up the combined material and to use that we use the MB Texture Baker. Um, so I'm going to create empty assets for combined material. Let's just call this CCC to be quick. Um, on the combined material I have to set the shader I'm going to ultimately want. And that tells MeshBaker which um, atlases to create. So it's going to create a main texture, illumination, and a normal map atlas. Um, then I need to add the objects that it's, oops, I want three objects, not 30 objects. I could use the tools for adding objects, but because there's only three, I'll just drag them to these slots. And then I can bake materials into the combined material. Now, regardless of which output option I use, the creating the combined material is exactly the same. So it's exactly the same up to this point. Um, now we get to the mesh baking part, and this is where the output options matter. So I can bake into scene object, or I can bake into prefab. So let's try bake into scene object first. If you look at the scene, there's five objects in the scene. If I click Bake into Scene Object, there's six. If I click this one, it's exactly where the other one was. So there it is. Notice a little bit lighter. That's easy to fix. Um, in the original uh, material, the, there's a tint property. Mesh Baker only handles the texture properties. And that tint property was gray. So yeah, any other property like shininess or tint, you have to adjust yourself. So let's get it approximately the same. Uh, the tree is a lot darker because the original tree had a diffuse texture, and this one has the illumination and the normal map on it now. Um, so you could probably lighten the tree up if you went in and edited the illumination map to give it a lighter value. Anyway, uh, back to the output options as we were talking about. You can see what this does. It, um, bake into scene object does. It creates a new scene object. and uses the mesh on that scene object. Uh, an important detail is this um, mesh only exists in the memory um, of the computer, it, it, or in the memory of the scene. It, it's not an asset, so you couldn't turn this into a prefab. If I try create prefab and drag this in there, it looks like it worked, but if we delete that combined mesh and push it into scene, nothing's there. And that's because um, the mesh wasn't an, an asset. So how do I fix this so that I can create a prefab? Well, I go mesh baker output, bake into prefab, and then this other field shows up, combined mesh prefab. And we have to actually give it a prefab where it's going to put the target. So there's a prefab, and that prefab needs to be a game object. So to make it a game object, I just create a game object, I put it in there. And now I can drag that prefab into that field. And now the baked mesh is going to get uh, saved as an asset, and this prefab will get set up. So it actually puts it into the scene too, but I'll just delete that out. Just and drag the prefab in so you can see uh, where is it. Here we go. So there's a mesh that is created by a prefab. So if you're wondering why we have these two options, um, the reason is that if you want to bake meshes at runtime, you can't bake them into assets and prefabs. You have to bake them into um, just scene objects. And, uh, and so we had to split it into these, these two different paths or, or ways, of, ways of doing it. Anyway, next I will talk about um, baking in bake mesh assets in place